Well, this is how my evening ended. I ended up needing some help from the good folks at Pig Towing Service. I'd gotten a flat in the field, broke one of my lug wrenches, got the second one out, and still could not get the lugs off the truck, so they came in to help. Car Pacers when hunting up in North Texas was on the third property of the night when I spied this hog crossing the field. Made my way towards the hog. First shot took him down. You notice the interesting zip or zipper sound? That's going to be an echo off the barn that I'm standing next to. The hog was spotted with my IR patrol, and I'm getting video through my IR hunter Mark III. And I'm staying on this hog because he's moving around quite a bit, but I don't have another shot at this point because I can't see him very well. But now that he's up, roll them with the second shot, up again, and he's down for the count. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. Good start to the night with a 180 pound boar. I'd gone through and checked several other properties and was on my way back. This is two properties away from picking up the board that I dropped at the start of the evening. And I've got a small sounder of hogs out in this field. There's some piglets that have dropped over the rise. And because of the bright moon, I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and shoot the closest hog. It's the only one currently visible. There it is. And then I'm going to go pick up the first hog that I dropped. All right, here we go. Well, she went right down. No other hogs in sight. And so I go to collect her. She was the most unhealthy hog that I've seen in a long time. I tried to handle her as little as possible. Well, while I was dealing with her, I heard some noise off to the side. And here the piglets came running back. It's a little too fast on the trigger on this first one. The shot was in front of it. Got him. And this hog, I never saw again after rolling it. And that was the hog that I'd shot in the foot. So I came away with a total of four hogs, three juveniles that are in the 33 to 35 pound range, one of which had also been shot in the foot earlier on. So this is the last property before I collect that first hog. I've checked this property a couple times already, nothing previously, but sure enough this time, there's a hog out there at 300, 350 yards or so. And once again, still under a full moon. So I thought I'd give it a try, made my approach. He came off the ridge, but he's now at a point where he's got open sky behind him, and I don't have a shot at this point. So as I'm watching him, I scan over to the left, and two more hogs have appeared. Now I'm waiting to get actual visual confirmation on these hogs. All I can see are the backs and the tails, they look like pigs to me, but I want to make sure before I pull the trigger on either one of them, make sure that neither one of them are a calf. And sure enough, that's a hog. And I probably could have shot that one, but I didn't know what was behind it, so I went ahead and let it go. And there went the first hog that I originally came after. So he came in at 190 pounds, and while collecting him, driving out, drove over some debris. Hence the need for pig towing service.
Carpe sus, my friends.